I think every artist who claims to be a music artist should take a page out of the meatloaf book and just take a lot of pride in your song titles. I mean, every single song title so far that I've reacted to um, from, from, from meatloaf, these, these song titles, man, I mean, paradise at the dashboard, um, you know, I do a lot of things for love, but I won't do that. Today, we are reacting to you took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, that's just, I, I, I'm not, I don't know. I just, it, 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 I know it's like a weird thing that I bring up all the time. Every time I react to meatloaf, but it's just, it's, it's, you know how they say first impressions and I, I use the same analogy every single time like granted there are no record stores anymore but if I was alive back in the day and I was going to a record store and I was looking through new music and um I just saw the name of his album and then I started looking through the track list I would like it's just like you have to buy that right it's just you know I don't know I, maybe I'm just I'm weird and I'm putting too much stock in it. But anyway, we are back. We are back. We are here to watch Meatloaf. You took the words right out of my mouth. This is the official music video. We'll do song research afterwards. Let's get right into it. On a hot summer night. Would you offer your throat to the wolf with the red roses? Will he offer me his mouth? Yes. Will he offer me his teeth? Yes. Will he offer me his jaws? Yes. Will he offer me his hunger? Yes. Again. Will he offer me his hunger? Yes. And will he starve without me? Yes. Then does he love me? Yes. Yes. On a hot summer night, would you offer your throat to the wolf with the red roses? Yes. I bet you say that to all the boys. <laughs> Somebody actually got mad at me that I said I called Meatloaf's music rock soap opera. You said just call it rock opera. But boy, I mean it's it's something straight out of a soap opera. I don't think I, I've ever watched a full episode of any soap opera, but it's just the <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll get context to everything they were talking about in the beginning of the song, but I mean, and it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward what it's talking about, but man, it's just the emotion and the acting and all of it is just, it's too much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, we're always so close 
And then you took the words right out of my mouth One must have been while you were kissing me You took the words right out of my mouth Oh, and I swear it's true I was just about to say I love you yeah. And then you took the words right out of my mouth One must have been while you were kissing me You took the words right out of my mouth quick and i noticed so clearly all of the music um that has because this is this is the same set and mu uh style of music video as paradise at the dashboard and um what's the other one mm, i'm blanking but this is the third reaction i've done where he's had this this uh music video at the uh, I guess a a stage performance style and the suspenders with this this whole thing is the same as two other reactions I did um his backup vocals I mean, I mean gosh I I just and I, I remember vividly uh Paradise at the dashboard me talking about the backup vocals I just I love the backup vocals for most of his songs um and boy i mean is he a showman or what i mean he i mean just the way he's looking at just looking at me at the camera even with a blurry a blurry lens i'm just sitting here looking at him and i'm like he's so animated i mean it, you know it, it's, it's very rare especially in today um I feel like a lot of today's artists try to have a very cool demeanor, you know. I don't want to say afraid, but you know, just so in their shell, don't really allow themselves to break out and just do whatever the music, you know, wants them to do. So when I just see him just so energetic and charismatic and moving all around, it's just it, me loves the man. Me loves the man. Are you a I love a good breakdown. I love I love the way they finished that. 
I don't know why clapping, you know, like probably my favorite song that really utilizes natural hand claps. Um, Papa was a Rolling Stone by the Temptations. When they come in, just clapping, like I don't know, it, it it's such a, you know, oddly enough, one of the best instruments or sound producing things that isn't an actual instrument is just your hands you know I, I don't know what it is hand claps are just I wish they were used more in, in composition of music but did it once again Me Loaf did it once again I, I want to do some song research took the words right out of my mouth took the words right out of my mouth here we go Let's see what we got here. Uh, first solo single by American singer Meat Loaf released in 1977. It is a track from his album Bad Out of Hell, written by Jim Steinman, of course. Uh, classified as rock. No specific uh, subgenre. Um, released on Epic Records. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, no. It didn't try. Oh, yes, it did. Okay. Um, in 78, it peaked at number 39 on the U.S. Billboard, uh, Billboard Hot 100, 33 in the U.K., 2 in New Zealand, 4 in Netherlands, 31 in Canada, 3 in Australia, 4 in Belgium. Okay, so, I mean, that Bad Out of Hell album had, like, at least so far from what I reacted to. It's, it's, it has about five hits One album, five hits I don't know what Meatloaf got paid uh, Hold on I'm sorry This is completely irrelevant To the song But just out of curiosity How much Did Meatloaf Make from oh okay yeah from Bad Out of Hell the first album racking up 44 million uh, sales worldwide I, I gotta I gotta find out how much money he made Meatloaf said he was only paid pennies wow he died with a net worth of forty million, but he he basically said he made a five he made a forty four time platinum album and walked away with practically nothing. I mean, if that don't tell you how shisty and disgusting and just greedy the music industry is i mean as somebody who does reactions to music obviously and oddly enough you did part of the copyright well not even part all of the copywriting process are these labels and these artists you know they um they get mad for you just listen i mean just reacting to it like as somebody who's never heard these songs, I just want to hear these songs, enjoy them, embrace them, learn from them. And these labels are like, uh, did you pay for it? Um, do you are you trying to monetize listening to my music? Uh, okay, regardless of what I can gain from this, nope, I don't want that to happen. Copyright. And to know that Okay, I would I would wholeheartedly understand and appreciate that if the artist was getting the bulk of the money at the end of the day is their blood, sweat and tears that go into it. But the fact that these labels, they do all of that only to like not pay the artists. And then all of a sudden I'm randomly remembering um the meatloaf story. I did a background I did some more reading into his life story, and now all of a sudden I just got depressed again. I'm sorry. <laughs> the story of Meatloaf, man, 
it's it's so sad, man. It, it really is. It really is. I'm I'm rambling at this point. I'm gonna wrap this up, but I I just got sad all over again. So I'm gonna let this go. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Please, please, please give me some more meatloaf. No pun intended. <laughs> Until next time with the great meatloaf. Peace.